Hey everyone, Paul Trevithan here, and I wanted to talk today about kind of thumbs and elbows, because one of the things that's really cool in life is to know your weak points, where your body kind of wears out quicker than other areas, and particularly how to deload them, put less stress on them, and make sure that they manage throughout the life. So we're going to focus on pretty much elbows, but we'll talk about thumbs as, as well. One of the things that's really useful is to understand that 40% of people are going to end up with tennis elbow at some point in their life. Uh, so that, that's a really nasty little pain on the outside. Gets to a point where people can't pick up a coffee cup. It's really nasty. And they don't start out as, as agony. They start out as kind of like, oh, it's just a little needle. They don't set off alarm bells. So we want you to kind of number one, know it, and number two, know, okay, how do I put less pressure? How do I deload so I don't end up there? Or if you have tennis elbow, how do I deload it straight away so it can heal? Uh, and so the first thing to understand is how you grip. And what we see is that a lot of people are throttlers. We call them our throttlers in the clinic. They go very hard with a thumb. And, and they often, you can see, they have even quite developed little thinner eminences, little fat pad through here that's strong. Uh, I'm, I'm a little, a bit of a throttler. I'm not a massively strong throttler, throttler, but I tend to go thumb dominant. So what that does is it wears out a thumb because it's your fine motor type of stuff. It doesn't want to be used as a workhorse. And it, the force that goes up from the thumb goes straight to that lateral epicondyle where you get tennis elbow, okay? So if you ever get a niggle in an elbow or you get, uh, or even if you had tennis elbow, you want to think straight away, I want to change my grip. So the, the secret is to think the strength of your grip is through those three fingers on the pinky side, okay? So, so if you know that, you can use it in a number of ways uh, to, to make sure that you, your arms and your elbows and your thumbs last. So if I'm gonna lift this right, it's like a chair. So uh, if that was, say, a 60 kilo chair, I've got two options. One is I just don't know anything about my hands and I just lift hard and I go really heavy with that, that thumb through there, I throttle. Uh, and then I go through. So slowly, that's gonna put force through, wear out a, a little thumb. So very easy to go, okay, I'm gonna bias three fingers, that's where my force goes. The thumb doesn't look any different, still looks the same, but I'm biasing my weight through the pinky side of my hand, okay? So I can deload straight away. You can use that in a whole bunch of situations. So you can use that uh, with a bag, so a bag here. Uh, say if I, I lift that up again, if I not, if I don't know, I'll go heavy through the thumb, and I really load myself up. Very easy. Three fingers uh, deloaded. Same thing if you if you're carrying um, wood, or we we look after a lot of scaffolders at times, and they have these standards like a big spigot post, like the like the spine of a scaffolding, uh, and, and and they will throttle really hard, they're very strong people. Uh, so we get them to just be able to uh, grip the, the stand, the, the long stick, uh, and then the thumb is really kind of as relaxed as it possibly can be. Same thing with a, um, with a hand tool, like gripping, that's where your grip is, the three fingers, and the thumb doesn't get smashed. Um, it also works with weights. So again, with this weight, uh, this is not too heavy, but say if it, if it was, it was you know, it's a 20 kilos to a single, um, just, just a hand weight. The, um, uh, if I'm not aware of it, I can go heavy through my thumb. Uh, and, and particularly, like say, number one, you've got your flexion right of the elbow. And number two, you've got a rotation, you've got a, a, a supination. So as it comes up, you're turning the arm out. It supinates and that can really put a torsion on, on that tennis elbow, the outside of, of the, the elbow as well. So again, three fingers, Thumb doesn't do nearly as much work, and you can start to work through there, deloading that, that outside of the elbow. The other one, the one that really actually got me one time, uh, was um, lifting water out of the car. So I was reaching across, right, a really quite a dangerous uh, position for, for a wrist, um, uh, and particularly an elbow. Uh, and in that position, I'm reaching across two seats to get this 10 kilo box. I've gripped it, my thumb, thumb's going pretty heavy onto that. Uh, and it's, it's and in that outstretched position, bang, I'm up, weight on that elbow, and I felt a twinge. So what I did immediately was go deload, so three fingers, again, doesn't look any different, but I deloaded it, um, got it in close to my body, um, put it, took, took it inside, 
and then uh, I should, and I, what I did do was release that uh, straight away as well. That's another video, I'll show you how to release your, your forearms and elbows as well. So you can use it in a lot of different situations. One other one that is really common is steering wheel. So you'll, you'll go thumb, thumb, uh, try and think three fingers and the thumbs a bit more relaxed. So really cool to understand your elbows, understand your thumbs. They often don't last at 100% till you're like say 83, 85, 90. Uh, we want to kind of catch up that so, so that if we can deload and put less pressure through, then you can have good thumbs, you can have good elbows uh, till you're 106 and do exactly what you want to do. Play with the grandkids, travel around the world, just live life to the fullest. I am Paul Trevor then, I will catch you in another video real soon.